game played here. Brian Denny Stadium since 1988 has been a sellout, and we definitely have another one here. Vanderbilt has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He's to the 20. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. We've got a second and five. Ball on their own 39. And they make the stop at the 40-yard line. That's a deep one on the way. Third down. He's got to throw it in a hurry. They'll make the sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. So at the end of one, still no score. And we welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Shepard will be the return man. He punt. No, he faked it. Brought down to 37-yard line. I wonder why they went for it there. Yeah, me too. It's still early in the game to have to gamble like that. You have to question the play calling there that puts a lot of pressure now on their defense. In hindsight, I've got to think this coach is going to understand that that call just didn't make too much sense. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. And he's sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. From the 40-yard line. It's second down. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Vanderbilt's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Listen to this place. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. And he's tackled around the 28-yard line. Well, they get all those yards, but come up just shy of the first. Good play call. Almost perfect execution, except for the fact that they're not going to get the first down. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. Taken down to the backfield. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. The offense tried to run right by him with the counter play, but the defense was there to make the stop. Great hold, guys. Last time out, the offense wasn't able to convert on fourth down. Brad, this offense, the last time they were out there, went for it on fourth down and came up short. And I'm all for being aggressive, but I really think you've got to be smart when it comes to when to go for it on fourth down and when to punt and try to affect field position. Let's see if this offensive coordinator and play caller has learned from some of his mistakes in the past. Alabama will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Alabama is going to have to use their second timeout of the half. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. Set. Move for it. They bring him down. So at the end of the half, no score here. Very close game now as we start the second half. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. 
Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. They go with a run, and he brought down in the backfield. Loss of two by the halfback. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to come up with a sack. be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. And he tackles him hard at the 11-yard line. So at the end of three, this one's scoreless. We played three quarters even. Fourth quarter is going to tell the difference. We have less than a minute to go. at the 35-yard line. Here we are late in the fourth quarter in a very important and a very tight football game. And who's going to come to the forefront? We'll see who's got the most leadership. Tackle after a decent run up the gun. Alabama will take their first time out of the half. From the 30-yard line, second down. The 28. Gain of two on the play. That'll bring up third and four. Alabama is going to have to use their second time out of the half. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Well, a lot of frustration by that offense, but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close. The kick is away, and it's good!
lined up to kick, and they might just kick it short and prevent a long return. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Commodores have played poorly all day long. That really doesn't matter right now. Well, they've played sloppy. They're not going to be happy when they go back and look at the film on Monday. But with all that being said, they still have a chance to win this game. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters is trying to get that W. This has been a great game, and it all comes down to this. Who can prevail, the offense or the defense? We're about to find out who's going to win it in this drive. Alabama will take their final timeout. Second down. Throws and it's incomplete. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Fires out to his wideout. Brought down around the 35-yard line. It was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He's going right. Just an unbelievable stop where they had to have it on fourth down, and that should be the football game. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for six. Situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that would mean a victory. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Alabama holds a field goal lead. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 3-0, Crimson Tide. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Curve Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.